Hello everyone, this is Craig from Evolution Fitness and here are my tips to overcome the three various types of hunger. Right, you may have seen some of my, my short videos from last week in which I kind of discussed the three different types of hunger that may be, just may be stopping you meet your calorie goals. So if your goal is to lose body fat and you are struggling to stay in that calorie deficit, there are three different types of hunger that may be preventing you from doing so. So I'm going to dive right in and I'll go through each one. Okay, so the first one is, you know, you may just feel as if you just can't get over the hunger pangs. You know, you might find that no matter how much you eat, you still feel hungry. So there's a few kind of factors for this. I mean, first of all, if you are overweight or obese, it's a good chance, obviously, that when you eat like huge amounts of food, as soon as you try and go into that calorie deficit, obviously your stomach expands. And then when you don't take in as much, you know, obviously it's harder to fill, you know, that, that space within your stomach. So there are a few ways you can kind of get over this. You can maybe just kind of for the first few weeks, just kind of get used to the hunger pangs. Don't think there was a bad thing as long as you know that you are taking in sufficient calories. Um, you know, you're not going to, you're not going to starve. You're not going to become ill as long as you're eating good whole foods a good balanced diet and staying within your recommended calorie deficit you know you, you will be fine you know you can just maybe get over those those hunger pangs just kind of put them out your head just find something to occupy yourself and you know obviously once you get to a point where your stomach gets used to taking a little less food in you know that won't be as much of an issue I mean, another thing you can do is obviously just kind of watch your um, your water intake. You know, you may be kind of able to benefit from taking in a wee bit more water. You know, just depending on your age, your height, your weight. You know, there is a kind of recommended um, amount of water you can be taking in. Uh, you know, there's so many kind of textbooks there that say, you know, you should take at least kind of eight cups of water. You know, cups are different sizes, <laughs> and also, like I say, people are different kind of sizes, different weights, etc. Um, you know, so that kind of may may vary. You know, for myself, I'll maybe take in maybe two, maybe just over kind of two liters of water per day. So you'll find that if you can, uh, you know, obviously can I drink plenty of water throughout the day, this will help kind of fill that that room in your stomach as well, and it should kind of cut down on the hunger pangs a wee bit. But the main can uh, thing to concentrate on, I would say, is obviously just to make sure you are eating good, clean kind of whole foods. You know, stay away from many kind of processed foods. You know, all your fast food chains. You know, things like that, because uh, you'll find that all the kind of processed foods, you know, you, you it doesn't fill you for a, a, a long time. You know, it's just full of kind of additives and and rubbish basically. And you know, you'll find that you know if you have that maybe a a double XL size type of kind of Big Mac from McDonald's, for instance, you know, you'll know yourself within an hour, uh, maybe half an hour later, you'll, you'll feel hungry again. Just make sure you stay away with that kind of stuff. Just make sure you keep, um, you know, you keep kind of eating all the kind of whole foods. Um, and again, it comes down to preparation as well. So, you know, meal prepping, making sure you eat all the, the right kind of stuff. So if you look at your, your carbs, you know, plenty of kind of potatoes, uh, whole potatoes, if you can, um, you know, you can add in there, obviously, uh, rice, preferably brown, if you can, and also kind of good whole grain pastas as well. This is all stuff that are kind of very kind of, they are sort of calorie dense, but at the same time, they're very filling, you know, and if you're eating like two or three of these kind of meals today, when you're loading up in carbs, you know, you'll find that that will sustain you, you know, throughout the day up until your next meal, at least. Um, I know carbohydrates always get a kind of bad pre press these days, 
uh, you know, from people who like to push the keto diet and things, I would never advise you to do the keto diet. I think, you know, if you are insistent, you want to try it, then, you know, obviously make sure you, you go speak to a, a professional, uh, a dietitian. Make sure there aren't any nutritional deficiencies there. And obviously just make sure that you, you do it safely. But I will tell you now, you can lose weight without entering a state of ketosis. So really, it's not worth it. For me, in my opinion, you know, I would always make sure you take in, you know, the plenty of pastas, rice, um, and, you know, your... Um, yeah, but potatoes, even sweet potato. And of course, don't forget your vegetables. <clears throat> I mean, vegetables aren't really that calorie dense. You know, and you can pretty much fill up your, your plate with vegetables. And again, you know, these are a bit kind of slower to digest. There's plenty of nutrition in there. You know, not just uh, macronutrients, but obviously plenty of uh, micronutrients as well, plenty of vitamins. So obviously you know if you're going for let's say a plate you know that your proteins like so if you're if you're a meat eater if you're going for a uh, chicken red meat or um or fish you know you're talking about maybe the palm of your hand you know is a good um amount of uh, protein to eat and then just a wee bit more volume maybe a handful of your carbs and then the rest just fill up with veg with veg as much veg as 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 you can Okay, so the second type of hunger I would like to talk about is, you know, the, the kind of food addiction type, you know, the, you know, the, the feeling you get when you, you just really crave the sugars, fatty foods, etc. Now this one, you know, you, it is really down to willpower with this one. I mean, when it comes to the end with the end sweet, like with the plenty of granulated sugar, um, you know, it is very addictive. And the same as well with uh, takeaways that are full of kind of saturated fats monounsaturated fats, polyunsaturated fats. You know, if, if you eat this regularly, you do crave uh, those types of things. But what you've got to do is just, just got to basically try and kind of stay away from them, uh, stay away from them as much as you can. You know, you'll find that if you were to, you know, stop, you know, for a good few weeks, kind of eating, if, eating like a lot of this, these kind of stuff. I mean, it, like so if you like to get stuff from the, the chip shop, you know, it's full of saturated fats um, and it's, it is really not good for your, your arteries, etc. So if you can uh, stay away from those for a, a good few weeks and then go back, I mean, yeah, I think you'll find that you might not enjoy it the same. You know, especially when you actually think about what it does to your, your arteries and, and your heart. So I would basically, uh, again, it's about kind of preparation. Make sure that if you feel that you do need to snack and you want to obviously eat things that are um, that are very kind of sweet, etc. Just look for alternatives. You know, it could be a pot of kind of uh, oil-free hummus and carrot sticks, things like that. Uh, you could use like maybe brown crackers um, with, you know, things like maybe a, a scoop of peanut butter, uh, you know, some Greek-style yoghurt uh, with some fruit, you know, things like that. Things that aren't going to be uh, too detrimental to your health and obviously things that you can uh, control within that uh, your calorie range. Okay so the third type of hunger I'd like to speak about is if you're an emotional eater you know if you eat out of boredom or if you get upset and stressed out and the first thing you do is go to the fridge and want a snack. Now this is possibly the worst one to overcome or the hardest one to overcome. Uh, you know when it comes to boredom listen you know, if you get bored, the answer isn't to go in and eat. You know, just just think about your goals. Think about what's more important, and it's the same with the the other the other two. You know, especially you know when you think about, um, you know, if you if you like kind of uh, sweet things or or you know things with plenty of kind of fats and that in them or saturated fats. You know, just think about what's more important to you. Uh, you know, your goals or also stuffing your face with things that. Know, just are detrimental to your health and also calorie dense and obviously kind of put you over your, your calorie goals for the day. So when it comes to boredom, you know, just find something to do. You know, if you feel like eating, just get a, a walk. If you've got a dog, take your dog for a walk. You know, if you if it's not too late and you can go to the gym, go to the gym. You know, always find alternatives. If you've got kids, play with kids, play a game with them. 
you know, there's always something you can do. I mean, boredom is never an excuse to to eat or to overeat. You know, when it comes to, um, you know, if you're an emotional eater in the sense of if you get upset, if your boyfriend comes to you or your girlfriend comes to you, you know, and the first thing you want to do is eat a big pot of ice cream, you know, just, obviously just kind of think positive, just try and turn that around, you know, just go and speak to somebody, even just lifting the phone, you know, having a chat. Uh, is a lot better than obviously trying to find comfort in the bottom of a big ice cream tub. Okay, so hope you've enjoyed tonight's video. Hopefully it's became or it's some use to you. Uh, remember, if you are struggling to stay in that calorie deficit and lose weight, and if I've not answered the kind of questions you've got around the three types of hunger, or if there are other types of hunger, that you can think of that makes you overeat, just comment below or you can send me a wee IM and I will try and help you as best I can. You'll never find a kind of hard sell with me, I'll not try and sell you any uh, personal training programs, I'll not try and sell you online, it's all free advice. Uh, so, you know, I'll not try and push my online programs and things like that. If you just send me a wee IM or comment below, uh, I'll obviously see what I can do to help you out. Remember, you can contact me not just on uh, YouTube, Evolution Fitness and Athletics. You can get me on Facebook at Evolution Fitness Athletics, or you can get me on Instagram at EvoFit under slash PT, and also on TikTok at EvoFit79. Okay, so again, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and hit the notification bell to make sure you catch any future videos. Take care, speak soon.